being a mom means shaping an entire generation. It's developing the self-esteem of an entire group of people that you, they're never going to find anybody else who has the same impact on them that you have on them as a mom. homeschooling can be the absolute best part of my life, that I become a better person, I'm constantly learning, I, my relationships with, with my kids are growing and improving and it's really wonderful. And it can also be really overwhelming. Um, there are certain times of the year that can be very, very overwhelming, but right as you're looking at the beginning of the year and you're sort of previewing what your whole school year is going to look like, it can be both exciting, looking forward to that, and also maybe a little overwhelming because that's a big, long, amount of time that you're looking at. And so I find that there's, um, I do kind of a ritual before I start school every single year that I, I want to inspire my kids to be their best selves and you cannot give what you don't have. So I've got to first seek inspiration for myself. Um, and so what I do in my going back to school ritual is I read a couple of things that help me really center in on what I think is very important and why I'm doing what I'm doing, why I'm going to start waking up early, why I'm going to be mentoring classes, why I'm going to be building projects. This is the why, and this is really important because that's what drives everything else we do. So I just wanted to tell you a couple of resources that I use. I think everybody has different resources. I know somebody that their number one why is going to be getting out into nature. So going out and connecting with nature, that's their why. She should absolutely be doing that in preparation for school year. And that's not my why, but I just wanted to tell you um, some of the resources that I use. So first off, I love reading this book. It's a mother's influence. Um, Marlene Peterson has created this book and, and brought it together. She's, she hasn't written it, but she, um, I don't even know what that's called, but she gathered it together. And, um, and so you can buy that or you can get it online at welleducatedheart.com or librariesofhope.com. It's at either of those places. And it just helps me remember what the point of motherhood is. You know, it's not just to feed people. It's not just to make sure that your clothes fit. It's not just to make sure that people get to their practices on time. Being a mom means shaping an entire generation. It's developing the self-esteem of an entire group of people that you, they're never going to find anybody else who has the same impact on them that you have on them as a mom. And so recognizing that my influence as a mother is so huge and so important that I need to be using this to help build people and to help create an environment that they can just really launch into the world. That is very important. And so reading this book helps me get centered on why I'm doing what I'm doing and what my role is. You know, it's not it can be really easy to get caught up in my role is to make sure that the science experiment gets done and cleaned up. But actually our role is to inspire. Our role is to help people discover who they are and not, not everybody, but our kids, you know, this is our role is to help our children really become who they are. And that's such a huge and important thing. So reading that book really, really helps me remember the point of what I am doing as a mom. Then in addition, for my choice and how I choose to educate, I use TJ Ed or leadership education. I have another video on that if you wanna know what is that. Um, but it's, I read this book, this TJ Ed um, original book, A Thomas Jefferson Education, because it reminds me how I school. <laughs> and I know how to do it. I've been doing it for a really long time, but every single um, August, September, it's time for me to just remind myself, these are the tools that I use. These are the seven things that I do that maintain the forward momentum. And when other things start creeping in and start to feel like they're more important, I can center down and say, yes, but Am I becoming too complex in how I'm doing this? Am I using enough classics? Am I being inspiring? Am I being inspired? And so um, reading this book really helps me anchor down into how I homeschool. And then this one helps me to, this is the second book in their series, that same, um, it's called Thomas Jefferson Education, A Home Companion. And this thing has so many, actually, oh, I think I'm lying to you. My bad, it's not this one. It's the other one that I, um, that I get, that I read every year. 
Um, clearly I haven't read it yet this year, but it talks about all the different ingredients of what it takes to make an, an excellent homeschool and the time of day and the, how you spend your afternoons, how you spend your mornings. And I do not do everything they have, they say in there, but it's just a reminder of how powerful library visits are, of how important field trips are, of how, um, awesome projects are. And so reading through that and just skimming through and saying, well, I've got a love of learners so I'm just gonna look at through the love of learner section really quick and then I've got a scholar I want to just review what it means to be a scholar and what I can expect from my scholar and what I need to be providing my scholar it's just a nice anchoring a remembering this is how I homeschool and this is why I homeschool this way because it's really really effective in creating leaders you're going to have an effective homeschool no matter what you do but it's just what effect you're trying to create and I'm trying to create leaders who are capable of um, loving learning and being um, contributors to their society and their family for Ever. That's what effective means to me. And so that's why I choose this type of education. And then the last thing that I really review and, and anchor myself to is a talk by a leader in my church and it's called Our Refined Heavenly Home. I'll link it in the description if you're interested. And it talks about how our homes are um, practice grounds for living in heaven. That what we do here should be preparing us for living in heaven. We should be doing things that are going to make us more comfortable in heaven, not less. And so he talks about several specific things like um, literature, the things that we read, the music that we listen to, the time, how we spend our spare time, how we, um, our house, the environment is. So the decorations and the spirit and the mood in the house and all of these things set us up to be more comfortable as we move closer to heaven. And really what that means is then our house is becoming more heavenly. And I got to say, as I was reading it this year, I just thought, man, I am just really far from it. I'm not doing fabulous at a lot of the things in there, but that's okay because it's a journey and we just have to, I look at it and say, okay, so then what baby steps can I take and improve on um, the areas that I'm really falling behind on? But it's just an excellent article to help me remember the important things that I do. I do not learn math. I'm not going to do that. I am not going to be the one who's choosing to learn or not to learn. What I do is I control the environment and that is really important. You need to have a beautiful, physical, spiritual, emotional relationship environment. And that needs to include great books and great information and great opportunities. And all of that stuff comes together um, in reading this article. So if you're looking for inspiration when you're you know, you're in this point ready to launch off. I encourage you to read any of these books or anything else that you feel really fills you up with motivation and the desire to do what you feel called to do here as a homeschool mom. You're doing a great job. Everything you do has huge impact and it's so, so important. Keep it up. You're doing much better than you think you are. I will catch you on the next one. And hey, subscribe. I forget to ask you guys to do that all the time, but it really helps me if you will subscribe and share with other people that this might be helpful too. Thank you. Bye.